Hey guys, it's me, Leanna, and yes, you read that title right. That's right, I am finally back with another travel video. Today, I am going to be taking you guys on a tour of the New York Aquarium and Coney Island. This is the New York Aquarium. The first place that I went here was called the Conservation Hall, and it featured the cow nose ray and the green moray eel. Cownos ray is a kind of eagle ray found in the western Atlantic and the Caribbean. They breed from June through October. Females may live for as many as 18 years, whereas males may only live for 16 years. They are typically 11 through 18 inches at birth and can grow to be over 45 inches. They feed on clams, oysters, hard clams, and many other invertebrates. When my family visited the aquarium, we saw many cownos rays swimming around the tank and sometimes coming right up against the glass to see us. Green moray eel is a moray eel found in the western Atlantic from New Jersey to Brazil. It usually resides in depths of up to 40 meters down. Unlike the name suggests, the green moray eel is actually brown. The yellow color of the mucus it covers itself in and the brown look of its scales gives the eel a green look. The green moray eel feeds mostly on fish, crabs, shrimp, octopus, and squids. It has a record size of 8 feet and 65 pounds. My family and I did not spot any eels while we were at the exhibit, but we presume they were hiding in the many cracks and crevices in the coral, as eels do like to hide there. The New York Aquarium is the oldest continually operating aquarium in the United States, having opened in 1896 in Castle Grounds in Battery Park, Manhattan, and relocating to Coney Island in 1957. It is operated by the Wildlife Conservation Society, who also run the Bronx Zoo. The aquarium's first director was Tarleton Hoffman Bean. He has also taken part in creating many other wildlife organizations, aquariums, and protected areas. The aquarium is currently undergoing major renovations, so I didn't get to see many marine life during my visit. Hopefully after the renovations, I will be able to go back and see more of it. fish, though I am unable to find their name, take rocks and small pebbles into their mouths and spit them out into a different location. contains piranhas, so they are very hard to spot. Can you believe that the piranhas haven't eaten those tiny fish? These are by far the biggest fish I have ever seen. They look like whales. They reside in the Amazon. It has four different species, the California sea lion, sea otter, black-footed penguin, and harbor seal. While I was there, because of the extreme cold and renovations, I was only able to see two of the species, the California sea lion and the black-footed penguin. This is the 
temporary shark exhibit. While the new one is being built, it contains sand tiger sharks. Sand tiger sharks lurk in the seas of Japan, Australia, and South Africa. They have no confir confirmed human deaths attached to them. The bony fish, crustaceans, squid, and even other sharks. They can reach up to 10 and a half feet in length. This is the view from the top of the Conservation Hall exhibit. Coney Island is bustling with tons of stuff to do, like walking down the iconic boardwalk, eating at the first ever Nathan's, and going to Luna Park, one of the many amusement parks lining the boardwalk. You can admire the picture-perfect shoreline as well as take a dip in the divine blue waters. Since I went in the winter, there was much less for me to do, but I was still able to eat at the world's first Nathan's. My quick review? Delicious. Although it may not seem like it, development on Coney Island was very controversial. In 1830, when the very first structures were built, many people wanted Coney Island to be a natural park. Of course, this did not happen. Congress did make efforts to achieve this, though, in 1900, when they condemned all buildings south of Surf Avenue. and the start of World War II, Coney Island was the largest amusement area in the U.S., attracting millions of tourists a year. During this time period known as the theme park era, Coney Island had three major competing amusement parks, Luna Park, Dreamland, and Steeplechase Park, as well as a few more smaller parks. Luna Park closed in 1946 after many fires and gang problems had plagued the area. Robert Moses bought the park and eventually had the entire area rezoned for residential use only so he could build apartment complexes. This was truly the downfall of Coney Island. In 2006, Coney Island was sold to Thor Equities who proposed a $1.5 billion plan to revitalize Coney Island with hotels, stores, movies, an indoor water park, and even a new roller coaster. Dreamland was rebuilt in 2009 and Luna Park in 2010. However, disaster struck in 2012 with Hurricane Sandy and all of the hard work that had gone into rebuilding Coney Island was diminished. Luna Park and Dreamland made quick recoveries reopening in 2013, but the New York Aquarium did not recover so quickly, with renovations starting in 2013 and set to be finished by this year. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's been ages since I uploaded my last towel video, but I hope you all enjoyed the other kinds of videos that I've started experimenting with while I didn't have any places to make travel videos on. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, as well as some other kinds of videos. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Until next Saturday, bye!